Feast your eyes upon this, mateys. Greetings, Pirates. Welcome to another episode of Pirates 365. Now, if you remember in the past, I did a video about the hardest Pirates of the Caribbean quiz, and I did pretty well on it. But today, I think I have an even harder quiz. I have a behind the scenes quiz for the Curse of the Black Pearl. I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do on this because I'm not 100% versed with everyone who worked on the film. But I'll basically throw the questions up on the screen and you can take it with me. I'll leave the link in the description so you can take it with me in the video. But the quiz is called The Ultimate Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl Behind the Scenes Quiz. So let's get started. First question. What year did screenwriter Terry Rossio and Ted Elliott first propose a big screen version of Pirates of the Caribbean? Our options are 1988, 1990, 1992, and 1995. I want to say it's 92. I remember that. Got it right. Question two. What was the original name of the fearsome pirate villain who eventually became Barbosa? Our options are Blackheart, Blackbeard, Captain Skull, or Captain Blood. I want to say Blackheart. Got it right. Original screenwriter Jay Wolpert previously wrote what pulpy adventure for the studio. Our options are The Three Musketeers, The Rocketeer, Dick Tracy, or The Count of Monte Cristo. I'm going to say The Three Musketeers. Ah, I got it wrong. It's probably The Rocketeer. Oh well, next question. Which Imagineers took executives and writers through the ride before production got underway to get a sense of the story and setting? Was it Marty Sklar and Rolly Crump, Tony Baxter and Xavier Atencio, Bob Gurr and Tom Fitzgerald, or Joe Rode and Steve Davidson? I want to say Marty Sklar and Rolly Crump, even though Xavier Atencio wrote Yoho Yoho. I'm going to say Marty Sklar. I got it wrong. Next question. Wolpert's initial draft included appearances from what famous real-world pirate? Was it Captain Henry Morgan, William Kidd, Bartholomew Roberts, or Henry Every? I'm gonna say Bartholomew Roberts. Got another one wrong. I'm flunking this quiz. At the premiere of what Disney movie was it decided that Jerry Bruckheimer would be off of Pirates of the Caribbean? Was it Remember the Titans, The Rookie, Armageddon, or Pearl Harbor? Pearl Harbor? Yay, I got one right. Pirates of the Caribbean started production as a series of storyboards without a finished script. Which of the following guys did not come out of the storyboards? Was it The Skeletal Monkey, Elizabeth Swan community dealing with her corset, Jack's arrival on the sinking boat, or Skeletons walking on the ocean floor? So I'm pretty sure the Skeletons walking on the ocean floor were part of the concept art. I'm going to say Elizabeth Swan's community dealings with her corset. Got it right! Before the supernatural elements were reinstated, the film's climax involved the pirates taking over Port Royal and facing off against the British Armada, the Black Pearl being stolen again and Captain Jack following, an attack by a giant prehistoric shark, or the Black Pearl cascading down a huge waterfall. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Black Pearl being stolen again and Captain Jack following. I got it wrong. Johnny Depp kept the look and sound of his Captain Jack Sparrow character secret up until a couple weeks before filming. The only other person who knew about this was Nina Jacobson, executive, Jerry Bruckheimer, producer, Gore Verbinski, director, or Dick Cook, executive. I'm gonna say Gore Verbinski. Yay, got it right. Which actor created an elaborate backstory for their character? Was it Orlando Bloom, Kira Knightley, Jack Davenport, or Jeffrey Rush? I'm gonna say Jeffrey Rush. Yay, I got that right! And at what soundstage at Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, California was the massive Ila de Muerta house? Stage 1, Stage 2, Stage 3, Stage 4. I honestly don't remember this. Stage 3. Yay, I got it right! Strangely. What reference to the original attraction was ultimately deleted from the film, but included in the DVD's many special features? The Skull and Crossbones headboard, that's not Stranger Tides. The Happy Pig. The Dunked Mayor. Or the auction scene, the Dunked Mayor because it later reappears in Dead Man's chest. How many fake eyes were used as Mackenzie Crook's wooden eye? Three, four, five, or six? I'm gonna say six. Wrong. What visual effects house worked on the majority of the film? Digital Domain, ILM, Industrial Light and Magic, Rhythm and Hue Studios, or Weta? Industrial Light and Magic. Yay! While live action photography was referenced for all of the pirate skeletons, which actor actually did an early performance capture job for their skeletal selves? Was it Johnny Depp? Jeffrey Rush, Lee Ehrenberg, or Mackenzie Crook, and I'm gonna say Johnny. Yep, that was right. Executive Nina Jacobson said she knew the film would become a cultural phenomenon when a test audience loved a what gag. Jack's entrance on a sinking ship, the pirates turning into skeletons in the moonlight, John and the Price's funny wig, the dog holding the keys to the jail. I think that's the dog holding the keys to the jail. That was right. Pirates of the Caribbean was the first Walt Disney Pictures film to be rated PG-13, feature pirates, be based on a theme park attraction, or feature both a dog and a monkey. Be rated PG-13. That's right. 
All of the following films are based on Disney Parks attractions and of them before Pirates of the Caribbean, except Mission to Mars, Tower of Terror, The Country Bears, and The Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. And last question but not least, a pre-production illustration of Barbosa, his beard intertwined with fuses, became the basis for a different character in which sequel? Dead Man's Chess, Our World's End, On Stranger Tides, or Dead Man Tunnel Tales? On Stranger Tides, it's Blackbeard. Okay, so I got 14 out of 20. It says so close, you know so much about the behind the scenes skullduggery of Pirates of the Caribbean, and your score is nearly perfect. Try the quiz one more time and we'll sure you'll ace it. I better. So I feel like I flunked that quiz. Let me know in the comments below if you took it and what score you got. If you got better than me, I'll throw kudos out to you. But now I learned a little bit more about Pirates of the Caribbean overall. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you soon. Tom mates.